Both fighters up to scratch for this women's flyweight bout. Round number one. Black trunks for Jessica Link. Burgundy trunks for Sharissa Sagala. Sagala, the aggressor, coming forward. And as Link said, these are the critical 20 seconds. Sagala, right cross to the body, right to the head. And Link, once again, putting that head up a little bit, she might want to take that chin down. Tight, straight, striking. Big punches from Sharissa Sagala. Now on the level change to the body. Sagala, rear right uppercut. Link firing back. Half tie pull held by Sagala. It's an active clinch. That's why referee Andrew Glenn correctly letting this go. Uppercuts now from Jessica Lynch. Half tie plum of her own. Yeah, he's definitely not working there because they are doing a lot of damage to each other. With fighters with the half tie plum. Now into the mid range. Sagala right back to the inside. To the body goes Jessica Lynch. Rear right uppercut again to the head goes Sagala. 55 seconds remaining in round number one. And this might be one of the longest clinches I've ever seen, Sean. And on cue, that's the commentator's jinx, Chris. There's the separation from Andy Glenn. You must have heard me. Now 40 seconds remaining in round number one. Now it's Lynn coming forward. And for the right jab from the southpaw stance. Sagala not getting through with the right hand. She talked about stepping outside that foot with the left foot and uh -uh, getting that right, right down the pipe. What's the name of the accomplishment there, though? Smear of blood on the nose of Sharissa Sagala. Sagala missing with the overhand right, countered with the left hook by Link. Five eight to Sagala's five four, and standing very upright. The Sagala continuing to duck under, accentuating that height differential. Final seconds, round number one. Blood flowing freely, cutting the bridge of the nose on the face of Sagala as we move to round two. Set for round number two. All three judges going 10 9. Sharissa Sagala in round number one. Jessica Link staying long, 
Sagala stuck on the outside. And that's exactly what Link wants to do. Stay out there every time Sagala comes in. She wants to pop it with that jab, pop it with that team, pop it with that hook. Sagala said, I'm willing to take risks in this fight. We've really not seen that since the opening minute of the fight in that long clinch when both fighters were throwing heavily from the halftime point. Yeah, she's utilizing more of a strategy right here. Maybe Wayne Kelly comes and trying to fire her back. And she has to mix it up a little bit more. She's got to start coming forward sometimes and then wait for her opponent to come forward sometimes. Again, though, Seagal has said, at times in this fight, I'm going to let Link lead, make her think that she's dictating when it's actually me setting a trap. Perhaps we're, that's what we're seeing. Perhaps it's just Link simply being more effective from distance. Lynn's doing a very good job in those clinches as well. She is using her arms on the way to She's able to win a lot of shots in there. So all right, trying to time the entry of Lynn, couldn't quite do it. Into the clinch, separation from Andrew Glenn. 20 seconds remaining round number three of this women's 125-pound bout. Short right hand. Savala now wants to be in this range, overhand right. And pulling it smartly back to the outside. Savala turning up the temperature, final seconds of round number three. Next stop, round four. This is very much turned into a distance fight in favor of Jessica Link. Sagala trying to work to the inside off of the straight punches, opening stages of round number four. You, know, you hear Sagala's corner yelling to get inside, but they're not really offering a way of how to get inside. I mean, get inside, that, that sounds a lot easier than it really is. The cut that opened up high on the bridge of Sagala's nose in round number one has not been a factor. Short left hand by Link clubbing. Sagala keeping a very high, tight, disciplined striking guard. Link in and out off of the jab. I'd like to see Sagala throw some feints. Make Link react, and that could get her to get inside a little easier. You throw a feint, make your point react, then you come in with that left hand, come in with that straight right. After your point, hands already out of position. There, there's like no thought of a fight right now. Every time she comes, every time she got comes forward, Link knows this is the real deal. And then she can come. Sagala's corner just to the left of our commentary position, yelling, go, go, go. They want her on the inside. They want her in the pocket and in the clinch. And you see she is stuck at distance. Link doing an outstanding job to this point in the fight, controlling this outside range. Yeah, staying exactly where she wants to. If she can hit her opponent, but her opponent cannot hit her. Finger on that jab from Sagala. The right hand on the entry. Good right hand from Sagala. To the clinch, heavy uppercuts by Link gets the separation. That reopens the cut on the bridge of Sagala's nose. Link has some very good uppercuts from in that clinch. She dumped it out here more times. She's definitely utilizing that tonight. Sagala again turning up the temperature into round four. She did at the end of round three. Link keeping the distance, and we move to the fifth and final round. Clearly, Chris Sagala needs to find her way to the inside and then hold that position, either in the clinch or in the pocket. Well, not to hold the position. I want to continue those punches from in that spot. Get in there. We want, we want hooks to the head. We want hooks to the body. Overhand rights. Uppercuts. Standing out where your opponent can hit you and you can't reach it is, is recipe for disaster, Sean. Link just using that jab from the southpaw stance as a range finder. Good entry by Sagal on the overhand right. Yeah, like we talked about, she talked about it. Stepping outside that, that left foot and, and throwing the straight right is perfect. She got needs to realize that as many times as she can in this round. The real time judges scores. And again, these are the actual scores from the three Kansas Athletic Commission judges. 39-37, Link, 38-38, 38-38, Chris. Wow, close fight. 50 seconds remaining, fifth and final round. So what we have, the winner of this round wins this fight. She's only stopping this one. And 
and both fighters know it, so that's a great thing. This, this fight's up, up the ground. And to the clinch. Nearly a hammer fist to the waist from Jessica Lent, but she turned it over enough to be legal. She so got off the jab. So Gall again coming forward. Teresa Sagal. This a person aggressive, especially towards the end. They're going to win that fight. They're going to win that round, especially. So that might be the key right there. At the end, Sagala was pushing forward. Ladies and gentlemen, after completing the scheduled five rounds, our judges at ringside send in a split decision. Kevin Champion scores the fight 48-47 in favor of Link. Greg DeVilbus, 48-47 in favor of Sagala. And Stephen Graham, 48-47 to the winner by split decision. Charissa, the bare knuckle sweetheart, Sigala. I mean, here really come the booze, and Chris, I know you disagree. Uh, I mean, it was a very close fight. Like I said, it just depends on what the judges are looking for, and I have no problem with it because they knew what they were looking for, and they, because of the live scoring, the open, you know exactly what was going on. Good win for Sagal. That's her 15th round. She's looked very good. It, just tough, tough, gritty fight she had to put on right there.